Probably the last episode, episode 5, no going back. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then.
kill for the win. Bye. It's safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. And it was for these assholes. Thanks. For coming back. I didn't know this man. Never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. It may be wrong, but it's right, though. Come on. But in the first one, I mean, how she died, and then we had a bubble on her head. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just. She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Rebecca. I'll take care of your boy. You must be easy. You piece of shit! Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get off Guys, me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. He wasn't the one shooting at us. That guy's dead. Just because he don't have a gun doesn't mean he wouldn't have. Well, he didn't, so leave him alone. This house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. No, oh, no. It's true. We have police. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I never want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Jenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there's supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up? Yeah, I got something. Hello, oh, honey, I think you. <laughs> Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. But when I heard the gunshots, I I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to so go. What, you want to go here or something? Thanks. 
That's oh, such that's nice good. sarcasm. I love it. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. I would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's locked. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! Wait, we need to stop. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Can you, come on, there's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. He's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I've got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Uh, okay. What's up with that? Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in a place. Such a dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of piss matches too. You're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, I've been better. How did we get here? We walked. At least most of us did. You basically had to be carried. Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. We're alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I 
could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know about my bones. And I've got to live with it. All right. This should work. That's perfect. What did I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. What? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen and we can't control it all the time. She's right. Really? You don't go blaming yourself for this. Alright. Hey, can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can uh, just uh, his uh, wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. Bye, the girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on a name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. You like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully, I don't scare this little guy. Or you. See him out of the cat up for once. So I can see. I'm asking him, Nick. But, it's okay. I trust you. How does he look? Uh, how does it look? I'm still going to see what he does. I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw one of that, didn't we? Well, it's bad because he can't use his eye, but it's not that bad. It could have been worse, sir. You gotta be true, you're a tough guy. Holy fucking hell! <laughs> Stop squirming. Yeah, you're all tough. He's <laughs> like, you're a lot a little. Yeah, okay. You're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. your hair. Alvin should be here. Raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are you ready to go? Let's head out. You 
Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? It's it what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit! There's still more war. Some more hours. Goddammit! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ouch. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. I'll see if, uh, see if you can calm it down a bit. No, that's all you. It's okay. It's okay. You're an astral. I think he likes you. Come to right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like a willow ant. Here, I got him. On over, it's safe. Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Emma, happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... What? 27? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as I feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Oh, God. Just Come on, yeah. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did you minor in agriculture? Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for a special occasion, and I'll be your birthday and all. Figure. This is as good a time as any. Do you think that's a good idea? Clementine, after the day we've had, I think it's the best idea I've got. I'd agree with that. I think she's just saying to take it easy. Right. Feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. About, um, like how, uh, not really the game again. Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well, was... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny.
Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about it. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. Alright. Alright, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. I guess I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? Oh, no, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, moves are regularly casting up. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. The moves are working on all of it. Work on me? Oh, shit. I just did it too, what? didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's stuff. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Ken over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there. A lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play the catch with Doug. To touch Kacha's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try to believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watching on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay.
they expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Wanna sit? It's okay. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool. But I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now, there aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There's this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple of years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot of like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with the response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Last drop. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Hey, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Sorry. 
Okay. My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long work we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, well, you do that. It's no trouble. How much for... Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Look out! There's water! What the fuck? That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Morning tea. Say it, an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. It'll be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. Mm, there they go. That's too less to deal with. Just stay spread out, and we'll be.
Well, they made it. Uh, uh. Luke, not coming. Luke is screwed. Hit that gun, I throw it. A machete. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Oh, Luke, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No! Clem, go! go through. Don't help no, him! No, Clem, do not! Go back for him! You're glad! Stop you telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Bye, Luke. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it! You need to go! Well. Clementine, stop! Clementine! Goodbye, Luke. I hated to see that. I hate this part. Every time I've seen this part, I hate it the most. He's gone. He's gone. Fuck. It's okay. I got you. Luke. I got you. Come on. Luke. Come on. She's gonna be okay. Go. To the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna be fucking frisk to death. How the fuck did that happen? Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's going to freeze to death. Yeah, she's gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. It's my fault. I, sh I should have stayed with him. I said I started to go. There was nothing that anyone was going to do. There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How me? is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh. You got a light. I thought I 
have matches. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. He's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I can use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. I'll watch it. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Lou... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane. Learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we get out on the road, it really makes a distance. Wellington's got to be out there. All those rumors can't all be bunk. 
Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. Alright, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. We're gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving it with that girl. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. <laughs> then you know what's oh, about to happen. Hey, <laughs> take my grandpa out of it. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <coughs> Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Okay, I'm in charge of the baby holding. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. Time, I believe. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... she was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? What'd I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? 
It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yes, yeah, some hell he's been. He got blue kill. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you ease up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a hurt out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem. Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready.
Who's there? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I've got the rest of it. Clown. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, we just got to get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Lee back in a dream, though. I hate it. Uh, Lee, it's just a bad dream, sweet pea. <laughs> I hate it. What was it about? There's Ben Duck. He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. No, oh, he is bit. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? <laughs> uh, yeah. He's like, the hell you just said? I feel bad. Why? I huh? called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Lee? Oh, yeah, this was a dream, but it's not. Well, well it is really a dream, I should say. Do that to Doug. We didn't bring Doug with us. We brought Carly. I don't know. I don't know why it's dead one of the She was way. sad, Clem. That can make people so, angry sometimes. Yeah. Because of her dad. Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, 
I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> well, sure, um, he left because he got faint, died, so. Like, right here is a good bond. It's just cute, beautiful, seeing that. Well, let's try to get some sleep. Okay. I wish I could have him survive more. I'm curious how would this occur in this season, but... I don't know why. Just why. Whatever. a few hours now we had to run the truck to keep you warm how do you feel it hurts couldn't find the bullet must have gone clean through it'll burn a while but you'll be fine those sons of bitches i mean i expected it from the russian but mike i could tell they were working on something i didn't think they'd go that far i can't believe they did that i don't think they knew what they were doing except trying to get away yeah well they're gone now good fucking riddance now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please, this is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howes in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. Get your feet off the dash. <clears throat> Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Oof. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you! You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a <laughs> bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. 
We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just... that loud. Him with her? 
Jane? Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Oh my god. He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? How could you let this happen? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Is it true? Get out of my way. Penny? How could you kill a fucking <gasps> child? I didn't kill him! It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny! Well, him. I finally had I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! Jane, don't! Just don't! I'm not letting this crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck off! Fuck you! <laughs> Let Jane. Oh, my God. This is all your fucking fault. Piece of shit. Just go. Okay. Stop. You don't have to do this. Kill you! I like any more than I like Jean. Completely. Go! I'm right behind you. He's 
alive. AJ, let me see him. I thought... I thought we lost you, buddy. I thought that Jane might have killed him. I, I was thinking the same thing, Clem. That's why I was so fired up. She never wanted the baby around. She, she made that clear. Yeah, I, I guess, but... I just... Why would she? She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right, buddy. Hey, listen. I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she'd killed Alvy, Clem. And at any point, she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I'd never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. I... I believe you. Okay. Thanks. Come on. Let's put some miles between us and this place. It's just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. You cheated. Holy shit. We did it, Clem. That's... That's gotta be it. I... <laughs> it's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. Finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this here's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food. Water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit... Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just... not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. 
things might change in you a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. Um... But, but, we have a baby. This, this is hard for me too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children. But... Just take the kids. What? Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, it's I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Well, I'll ask. Just give me a second. No, no. I'm not leaving, Kenny. You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Uh -huh. No, we're not. It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children. Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you I'm not safe. taking it. I'm not doing no, it. I refuse, won't. man. Please. I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way for both of you. But think about Alvy here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. No! We're leaving. All of us. Together. Clem, please. It's safe here. You need to Stop. think about the... Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just stop. That's that. Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh, sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. I don't like the fact of leaving to stay here because I really like Kenny. If Penny could have stayed, then we would have. You're as stubborn as a damn mule. Yeah? Wonder where I got that from. You. Walking out of season two is complete. Now I'm on the third season next. I hate it. I really just don't want the fact that this, this comes to this. Try to be, yeah, we did. Help Luke, yeah. Ask with Mike, no. Check Kenny, no. In the end, who are you with? Or Kenny, otherwise it would have been with, um, Jane. I don't care. <laughs>